Good afternoon. It's Friday. It's in the evening. We're done working. We're ready for a fun weekend. And today's very special. Evie. It's your birthday. You're four years old today. Do you want to go get some treats? A cake, maybe? Do you want to go outside? <laughs> Happy birthday, Everson. Let's go get you some fun stuff. Ready? Ready. All righty, look at all these options, Evie. There's so many birthday options. Oh my goodness, Evie, it's there's so many day. options, what do you want? Everson, we found a little park to have you have your treats. This has been like, every, like we walked like to a baseball diamond across from Wolfgang to try to get away from the busy streetness and to find somewhere where it's not super dark. And we found it, but the whole time she's going, I know there's treats, where's the treats? Where's my, okay. where's my birthday, birthday presents? Birthday haul! So this is gonna be for home, it's puppy ice cream. We gotta freeze it. Karen and Kayla got us for us before and she loved it, oh gosh. Oh, she okay, knows. we gotta be sweet. Okay, cause she's a birthday girl. This is for right now. Yeah. We got a little cupcake, which I'm gonna open up right now so she can calmly eat it. Look at this. I'm not even gonna break this bad boy up and we're gonna see what kind of damage she does to it. Ooh. Like a good girl. Good girl, happy birthday, okay? We love you. Oh, her tongue got stuck on her tooth. <laughs> her tongue got stuck. Good girl. All right. While she's munching on that, this is for maybe now, maybe a little later, a princess cookie. We opted into getting her some toys as well. We got her a little Kong tire. And you can put treats in there. And she hasn't had this in a long time. Yeah. Squishy. Yeah. Squeaky tennis balls. Yeah. She loves playing fetch with them. You so happy, Evie? I have. Um, dog friendly sweets on my finger and like I just want to lick it, lick it, lick it. <laughs> it's not as sweet as I thought, which really? is probably good. Yeah. Probably good for you. Well she was she was having a slow pace at first but once I, I broke it up she didn't waste any time at all. That cupcake is gone. What do we say we crack off a piece of the cookie before we leave the area? Um, just so anybody was worried, there's our baby. He was doing great in the bassinet, then I felt like he was feeling too disassociated. Yeah, he needed to be out in the... So he could look around. With his big old eyeballs. So cute. At what point is a dog not a puppy anymore? Never! I was gonna say, either way, she's always gonna be a puppy. The worker at Wolfgang was like, how old is she? Is it her birthday? And I said, yes, she's four. She, oh, she does not look four. Do you want a piece of cookie? If you sit, you'll get a treat. There you go. <laughs> Let's see, Evie. Do you want to be in a puppy parade? What it's her think? birthday. She's the princess of the land. She's the princess of the land. She's not embracing it yet, but she's also not completely despising it. I don't see her laying down just because she's such a nosy Nelly. Hey, she's sniffing. She's not smiling. I'm just terrified of her leaping out of this because we don't have like, they have like fancy straps. So that's why I asked her to walk closer to the side. Just so she doesn't get any swift ideas. All right, we're like three blocks in and we're still going strong. Right, she's like, again, like not giving in. She's not laying down, but I think she wants to see. Yeah, I don't think, like if there were no walls, like the walls were see-through, I think she would lay down. Wanna show this cool sewer cap? Um, here's a cool Winter Park sewer cap. That's the Winter Park crest, like their thing is, is is that a peacock? Yeah. And that's 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 the story. That's it. It's just a cool sewer cat. Onward and upward. Also, this boy, I don't think I'm gonna get it in the darkness. I just look over and his eyes were rolling back. Now they're closed. But his eyes were rolling in the back of his head. He's snoozing. Daddy usually gets this fun, so I'm excited about it. She had enough of the puppy parade. <laughs> She's not? The most like endurance walker of a dog. <laughs> that, she walks. That's why we're gonna get to Chicago and we're gonna be like training her with walks every day down right Michigan Avenue. And she 
should go swimming in the lake. She can. There's a doggy beach by us. She backed up like, back <laughs> off me. This is the most Eve-centric vlog to date, I think, depending on where the rest of the night goes. What about her introduction vlog? Oh yeah. Who remembers her introductory vlog on the old YouTube channel? Subway fighting back this morning against claims that its tuna sandwiches don't actually have any tuna. Two California residents sued the restaurant chain, claiming that an independent test of the ingredients revealed that the sandwiches are made from, quote, anything but tuna. Subway denies the claim, saying, quote, there simply is no truth to the allegations. The company says it delivers 100% cooked tuna. I was a, I'm a certified sandwich artist of, what, almost four years? And I will say with every ounce of my fiber that during my time at Subway, the tuna sandwich, if you made the Subway tuna mix the way that the company told you to make it, it was probably the most authentic kind of meat that, that Subway offered. Like the pepperoni and stuff, like, you don't, like those processed things you don't know. That tuna was the most real like meat that I would open up and have to drain the sea, literally the sea juice out of and mix it all, the, the shred up the, the tuna chunks. The crab, if anybody's gonna make a, an article and, and cause and blame Subway not have something that's real, is the crab substitute is probably the fakest thing in the entire world. But the tuna, I'm just, I'm not even a big tuna sandwich fan, I'm just like a little offended. Like that tuna is the most authentic thing I've ever seen in like a sandwich joint other than Jersey Mike's or Publix. He's a big old kid, hanging out with his pup, having so much fun. But you have to throw the ball, James. Throw the ball. Did it go under the couch? Oh, I think so. Uh oh. I put little pieces of pepperoni on the Kong tire, and I think she knows they're in there, but she can't get to them, and it's about to make her so angry. Look at this. Like it's almost torture. She's like, guys, you never made me work for my treats before. There you go, get them. I wanted to show you this before I put it in the freezer. That's what it looks like. I could have, should have put it in a blender, but it's pretty mixed up there besides that top bit. But just warm water in the mix, put it in the freezer for five hours, and it's ready to go. All right, so two movies came out this weekend on the different streaming services. One is called Palmer with Justin Timberlake, and one is called The Little Things on HBO Max, but we're gonna watch WandaVision first. We're gonna watch one movie tonight, and then WandaVision. Um, this looks exciting. Look how comfy Eve looks on James's, like, tummy time mat. She's so sweet. All right, WandaVision was crazy. Yeah, it was a good episode. Felt like a Marvel movie. Yeah, and that little man, James, when he lays on it now, he reaches up for the toys. I'll have to try and get it. We got a little old man in our hands now. Yeah. Sleeping on my lap. We're gonna watch Palmer, the mm -hmm. new JT movie. Yeah, it's an Apple original, what they're calling it. Apple TV Plus original film. We'll let you know what I think. Look at this sweet baby. Sleeping on my lap. He's like the most victorious baby in the whole world. Those arms up. Eve is still in the same spot she was before. She apparently loves that man. <laughs> the whole movie. We'll have to keep it out all the time for her. Usually it's in James's room. So what'd you think? It was gut wrenching and really good. Really good. I think that's one I would watch a lot. Yeah. So I hope it stays. I do these on Apple TV Plus forever. <laughs> Oh, it was good. And it was, it was real, real good. It wasn't a true story though. It wasn't? I don't think so. Um, I think we need to slide this baby on the airline. Because I have to go to run still. Did you forget? I did. I've been good about running in the mornings, but I didn't decide I overslept this morning. We all had a sleepy morning, didn't we? Yeah, so, but I have to go still, so. It's late. Look how dark it is outside. But just let me be. You gotta run if you gotta run, right? It's cold out. 
it's 51 degrees, but I have to get up because it's 11, 46 at night and I have to start my clock. I like sometimes, I sometimes like, don't want you to say what time it is because I'm embarrassed. But we're real here. We're always embarrassed. <laughs> because we're never embarrassed. So I am going to finish up the dishes this evening and I got some hot chocolate for fuel. I love this coffee mug. It's from the Rock Cafe on Route 66. This cafe is what Sally's like hospitality was based off of. We ate there on our honeymoon and the woman who Sally's character was actually based off of, she was there but she was like running around taking care of guests. We actually didn't meet her but our waitress had pointed her out um, and it was really cute. They had like cutouts of the different Cars characters, but mostly focused on Sally. And there's this whole corner dedicated to Sally. Um, the Cozy Cone is actually based off of a lot of things. Um, the Blue Swallow Motel is one of them, but also the Wigwam Motel, like the teepees, and obviously Sally's are cones, traffic cones. But the Rock Cafe, the actual character of Sally, is based off of I think she's the owner, if not the owner, like the woman who runs the place. So that's one of my favorite coffee mugs. And that's why when we purged a lot of our coffee mugs, if you remember that, that one stuck around. Ooh. It's been a while since I brought you over here, everybody. Check it out. Orange Avenue, downtown is just that way, City Hall. You can see the City National Building right there. If you're from my Florian area, there's the Wells Fargo. High fours, right there. Florida, Florida will get you. Look at this hair. It's 51, so it's like I need to wear a sweatshirt. But of course, because of the humidity and everything, about five minutes into the run, you don't need any of it. But it's not a run Disney day. This isn't a $5 sweatshirt that I can just ditch for donation and be in the of a race. But what are we, 10 weeks? 10 weeks away from Milwaukee, if it's happening. That would be crazy to think the first race since my last sanctioned race is not gonna be run Disney. It's not gonna even be Chicago. It's gonna be Milwaukee. So I'll have to get some uh, cheese curds or something to celebrate afterwards. But all right, enough of this talking. My watch told me my heart rate dropped too much, basically. Too much in a relaxing zone. See you in a minute. Dad is home and <laughs> trying to get Mr. Jamesy to roll. Oh, he can do it with a little help. Are you ready for bed? Yeah. Come on. Go, 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 go. Okay, January 29th, Evie's birthday. Make a list of things that make you happy. Make a list of things you do every day. Compare the lists adjust accordingly. Anonymous. Did we tell the world what we're doing tomorrow morning? Going to Chef Mickey's! Yay! I've never been, and I think I might cry at least thrice. Yes. Um, also, right after I stopped videoing James, he rolled over on his own for the first time. I actually didn't see it. I've been so paranoid that I didn't Peter, see it either. I was, woke, I, was, I was talking too, and I looked down, and he was... <laughs> Which is funny, because I've been working to help him roll, and I, with Peter being home, I've been like, you gotta watch, you gotta watch, because I didn't want him to miss it. We both missed it. And we both missed it. <laughs> but then we watched him do it by himself yeah. a bunch of times after that. Yeah, so we have him in a different sleep situation tonight. You're supposed to stop swaddling after your baby can roll, but there's also a bunch of different transitions. So, we're going to see how tonight goes in this little sleep sack. We kind of go to bed because we have to wake up and have so much fun. Yes. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.